we're about to do a bit of a cook up and I thought I'd show you sort of the power consumption when we initially fire up the appliances that we're gonna use and then sort of what it is after they've sort of maintained their initial firing. So we're gonna get the smoker going and um, Kerry will tell you what she's about to cook up soon. Um, and then after that, we're gonna also do a couple of espresso martinis because um, we haven't really been able to do that before. So that'll be cool. So as you can see now um, on the little E-Pro Plus, it's 72% uh, is uh, what our battery life is. And we're pulling about 61 watts. Um, that's just from the fridge uh, freezer that's plugged in. So I haven't charged it um, at all since, for about 24 hours now. I haven't put a solar blanket on it or started the combi as well. So um, it's doing, doing pretty well. So we'll get this smoker going. So this is our little portable smoker that we carry. It's um, it's a really cool little thing. It, it normally uses about 300 watts, I think, on initial fire, and then um, after that, it's sort of used that for a couple of minutes, and then and then about 50 watts. So just get in the right spot. There we go. Firing up now. There we go. So there you go, so it's sort of starting to pull now. Gets up to yeah, 285 is what it's sort of pulling. And maintains that 72% and it's like that for a couple of minutes and then it should just settle down to about 50. So they're yeah, pretty impressive, not really dinting the system much at all. All right, what are we cooking? All right, we are making pulled pork burgers. It's a favorite of ours. We love it because it's super versatile. So it will last us a few days from um, tonight. We'll make uh, some tacos. We can also make out of this a pulled pork eggs benny, which is so good and a little bit naughty for tomorrow. Um, so I've just mixed up some spices that we're gonna make a dry rub for the smoker. It's basically, we've got salt, smoky paprika. We've got some onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of sugar in there. And we're just gonna rub that over the pork and then pop it on and um, we want that temperature to raise inside to about 95 for a couple of hours. Um, what are we pulling here on the power lock? Right, so we've been, yeah, so we're pulling it, so it's 69%, so we've used about 3% battery um, at the moment and we're at 67.8, yeah, 60, yeah, it's sort of ranging there, but it's around 60 to 50 watts. It's pulling and um, it's been on for about 10 minutes. It was pulling about 300 watts for you know around that 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 figure for um about 10 minutes and then um now she's at temp so we've got the fridge running fridge freezer i should say smoke is going we're at high temp now now let's go and draw some uh power into the coffee machine and see how it runs so it was running about 80 beforehand 90. look at that that's really going now So I think that's about 1370. Pretty impressive really for that many sort of devices, 68% battery um, total. That looks really good. I'm actually really pretty impressed, mate. I mean, it's been a while since I've been in a bath. So our pork has been cooking for um, about four and a half hours in the smoker. It's reached its internal temperature of 95 degrees, which is the perfect time to pull the pork and let it rest for about 30 minutes. So I'll do that now, and then we're gonna check out what the battery system has been doing in the meantime. All right. It smells amazing. the dual fridge we have been running the smoker we've had the coffee machine going we've also got this light going as well over the last four and a half hours we started with 72 percent and now we are at 50 percent which is just incredible that's amazing so loads of battery still going on there that's so good 
So good, worth the wait, 100%. So I hope that gives you guys a bit of an insight into our system, how it operates and the power usage that it, um, it, it also requires. Definitely reach out to Caravan RV Camping and also in the drive. If you've got sort of any questions or you're looking for a system yourself, those guys have just such a wealth of knowledge and they're so happy to, to, to part it on. So um, definitely couldn't recommend this system enough. We're absolutely blown away. We're going to tuck into this feed. We're going to have a couple more drinks around the fire. Go from there. Cheers.